Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about some well expecting changes coming down to Valorant. So, let's get right into it. So, we got Valorant patch notes 9.02. So, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. It's Joe Allen, and I'm here once more with some patch notes in point zero two. Uh, what you see below, pay, uh, player behavior update, whether you're on console or PC, an updated combat report, basic training now available for PC, Xbox entering the scene of console. Least favorite part about this. I'll say this right now. Least favorite part about this whole update. I hate Icebox with a goddamn passion. Uh, one last note, ready for pickums. Well, if you haven't already, uh, just for the record, everybody, I have already done my pickums, and if you want to go check it out, a link in the description will be right down below. And if you don't know what pickums are, it's just exactly what it sounds like. Pickums for Valorant Champs. That's all it is. You just for at the current moment, it's all about group stage. Eventually, there'll probably be one for the playoffs. But at the current moment, it's all about pickums for the group stage. And I'll just say this right now: I will be getting that hundred percent banner because I'm always right. Just saying. So next we got all platforms, player behavior updates, behavior uh, invention update, player who uh, engaged with comms abuse will experience increased penalties. Always a good thing. Last thing we need is more racist and sexist Valorant without getting punished. Always a good thing. But uh, bug fixes, agents, neon, uh, fix the hitbox. Eh, that's not too bad, I would say. Gameplay systems, fix an issue with Premiere. Ah, eh, whatever. Fix an issue with ability HUD persisting into death cam. Okay. Abyss, fix several areas where the spike could be stuck on certain ledges outside the map. As uh, several visual bugs fix, of course. You can no longer jump on the tall box in a alley. Okay. Uh, PC, uh, maybe in the future, guys, if you want me to cover PC stuff, because eventually the PC stuff will come over to console, but maybe in the future, maybe in the future, I won't cover PC and just solely focus on console. Just let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, general updates, we have made new basic uh, training tutorial in the range from console available on PC. Good. All new players will be required to play through the tutorial. <laughs> and we'll have an option to play a buy training match. For current players, you can access the basic training in the range going to the practice menu. Combat report, gameplay systems updates, uh, visual refresh, the in-game combat report it has a new look. Combat report will now be vi uh, visible during the buy phase by default and you will still be able to toggle it on and off during the buy phase. I'm pretty sure this is already a thing in Paladin console, so I don't see a big deal. I won't cover Premiere because Premiere has nothing to do with console yet and honestly, I'm not associated with Career or I do anything about Career. Oh, sorry, Premiere. So, as yada yada yada. Social updates added a platform information in the social panel. It is now clearer when a friend is playing Valorant and on a different platform. Okay. Okay. Uh, bug fixes. Uh, Premiere, whatever. Known issues. Combat report. Additional details. Uh, window is missing. Headers for weapon ability. Damage hits. Yada, yada. This will result in the upcoming release. Okay. Premiere. Skip. Okay, so console. Here comes the big stuff. General updates. The keep player centered minimap setting. I don't use this, so this has no effect on me. Will now be forced by... Uh, be forced on minimap uh, zoom levels above 1.0. This prevents non-centered map minimap uh, views from getting into an unusable state for high zoomed uh, levels. Okay, has nothing doesn't really affect me since I don't have that nonsense. I keep that pl keep player centered minimap setting off. I like to know where I am on the minimap while having my minimap not move in my top left hand corner. Uh, agent updates, toggable abilities. Select abilities, which require you to press and hold down, can now set to toggle, allowing you to press and let go of the input to steer the ability freely while it's active. Uh, this is actually really nice. The following uh, abilities can be toggled in the agent's uh, profile settings. Harbor, Phoenix, and Sky. Uh, I will definitely say this right now. That's, that's a big update, especially depending on the, what the preset you play on. A neon high gear description in the ability info panel has been updated to match the ability's bindings. And so, uh, Sova's Hunter Fury applies less drag on your controls, allowing more control over the charge's duration. Okay. Map updates. Inbox. Uh, ice, inbox. Icebox enters uh, competitive unrated swift lane deathmatch queues. Hope you guys didn't hear that. Ugh, I hate Icebox with a burning passion. 
maybe I'll do why I hate Icebox so much. Maybe a guide of how to play Icebox, maybe. Comment down below if you think so, but... My least. I think Breeze and Icebox are my least favorite maps, and I can tolerate every other map. So far, I think... I'll say this right now. This might be a hot, hot take. I think Split might be my favorite map. Next, mostly because I'm a Cypher guy. Especially on that map. And I have so many dirty Cypher setups on that map. It's not even funny. Um, then I would have to go with... Maybe I like Lotus quite a bit. Um, oh, what's that map that's coming back in the rotation? Uh, just a spoil. And I love Pearl. Uh, Pearl's actually one of my favorite maps. Not gonna lie. Bug fixes, general fix an issue where you can lose input when interfacing with surrender vote system. Fix an issue where unbound inputs displayed incorrect controller binds. Credits are now localized properly in the, in the tutorial. Fix an issue where the weapon wheel was not playing the correct inputs when changing controls in individual agent profiles. That's good. I, I've had that bug. That's a good fix. Gameplay systems. Fix an uh, up or fix an update with the timestamp and abilities uh, status texting overlapping in combat reports. Fix self and ally not localizing the combat report text. Fix an overrun text combat. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Performance. Fix a performance issue when changing controller presets. Uh, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Weapons mitigating an increase using scope. I actually, yes. This is huge. This, this is huge. I get this. This is actually a huge issue when it comes to for, for me sniping sometimes. And I, I couldn't opt for the longest time on console. This is, I, oh my gosh, this is actually, I can actually fucking opt. Oh my goodness. This is huge. Because I, I remember, I always thought this was a, I knew, I think this, I knew this was a bug, but I couldn't explain what was going on. Because like anytime I zoom in, sometimes my, my, um, my line of sight would just shoot up and people in my, and my streams were like, why are you sh like sharply shooting up? It's not because of that. Because it was just so weird. Oh my gosh, this is a huge, this is huge. This is probably my favorite update so far. Next to the toggle. But yes. Known issues. General while playing with the basic training event. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, that's basically the updates. However, there's going to be more. And it's been leaked. And I love this. This is huge. Now, I spoiled it a bit earlier. However, 9.08, just a little taste of 9.08. Pearl and Split are returning to the competitive map pool in Icebox and Lotus. Oh, damn, I, I love Lotus. Not going to lie. Uh, Icebox and Lotus are rotating out of the competitive map pool. I wish it was Breeze and Icebox, but whatever. And Pearl and Split are coming back, folks. Yes. Well, I'll happily make guides of how to play Split and uh, Pearl properly. I love this. I love these two maps. Oh, man, I'm so excited. So that's it for the new update, guys. Um, I'll definitely be demonstrating some of these on stream. Actually, currently right now, I'm probably going to be streaming this at the current moment. So if you haven't already, if you stayed through the whole video, don't be afraid to like and subscribe for this video. Or sorry, like and comment on this video. And hit the subscribe button if you're new to this channel. And hopefully... I will see you right over onto my stream because I'm currently streaming um, Battle Console right now. And maybe some Marvel Rivals depending on my mood because I know competitive competitive right now is currently uh, not banned right now, but it's di disabled until the new update of 9.02. Okay? So I'll see you next time, everybody. Oh, and which will be on uh, August 2nd. Okay. So I'll see you next time, everybody. Stay tuned for more content for Battle and Console. This has been like pretty much a low effort video. I know. Don't whatever. I'll see you, see you next time. I'll see you on the stream. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your night.